Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Thank you so much for being here with me today. In today's video, I'm going to be taking you guys through kind of a day in the life of a part-time reseller who's also a mom, who does it simultaneously every day. It is around 7.30 maybe it's 7.45, around that time in the morning and I just woke up and I got in a swimsuit because I'm going out to breakfast with my two aunts and my sister and my two daughters, of course. And then after, I'm going to take my two daughters to a splash pad because it's summertime. It's gonna be really fun. And then after that, after we go swimming, I'm going to head home but I will be going back out to the Goodwill outlet, which I'm super stoked for because it has been too long. It's only been like a week, but I am missing it. So I'm really excited to go to the Goodwill outlet today. Stay tuned for that and I'll take you through the rest of my day. Miss Rapunzel here is ready to <laughs> go bye-bye. I'm about to pack the diaper bag and then I'm going to wake baby up. But we need two more. Okay. Give me two more diapers. There you go. One more. Thank you. I do Ariel. You choose Ariel? I All got right. my basic. Oh, look, there's already a thing of water in here. That's perfect. Now we all we need is formula. You put this in the diaper bag for us? Sure. Thank you. Okay, I have a little bit of time, so I'm gonna start on these dishes before baby wakes up. First I gotta unload and then I'll get to the actual dishes. Taking my daily morning prescription, I take Bupropion 300 milligrams. <laughs> One every morning. This helps with my depression. Just helps take off the sadness a little bit. Let's wake up baby. Oh, she's already awake. Hi, beautiful. <laughs> Hi, sweetie. <laughs> We're going swimming. I'm going. Okay, Google. Stop. I threw a wasta. I was able to finish the dishes before she woke up. Now I just have to quickly get these girls and my stuff in the car. Hi, Meadow. Are we at breakfast? We just finished eating breakfast. We're walking back to our car now. We ate at, I guess you can't see the sign yet. We ate at the original Pancake House. I got Eggs Benedict, it was super good. Now we're headed to the splash pad and then I think we'll head to the Goodwill outlet. There's like a summer camp here or something. And so luckily they moved to the playground because the leader didn't want them to get wet anymore because they weren't in their swimsuits. But when we first got here, I thought that there wasn't go gonna be enough room for us. Luckily, it's clear now. Dozy. Oh, the screen's all covered in sunscreen. Meadows, chilling in the grass. Probably gonna get her in a swimsuit and maybe we'll splash a little bit. Huh, does that sound good, baby? She likes playing with the sunscreen. I'm now back at my parents' house, dropping my sister off. She's running in to get my daughter a popsicle. We just came back from the Goodwill outlet and I didn't do any recording in the Goodwill outlet because it was kind of chaos for a few different reasons. My baby girl was a little bit upset, but also it was really, really hot in there. Like they don't have AC and so it was kind of miserable, but I did find some great finds. So I'm going to head home after my sister brings out the popsicle and I'm going to relax for a little bit and then I will do the five listings that I took pictures of last night. I was going to post those listings last night but it ended up being too late and I was too tired. So I'm going to post those five listings and then I'll show you guys me cross-listing them. I can't show you guys posting them because I do it on my phone but I will show you guys when I cross-list on my computer. I've been go, go, go all day long. I actually might do this before I post the five listings. I am teaching my daughter to read. We started yesterday and we're going to go through two letters today. So yeah. Today was voting day and so 
after my husband got home from work, we were relaxing on the couch and deciding who we wanted to vote for. We really left it to the last minute because this was the last day you could turn in your ballot, but we got it done. All right, Mara, today we're learning about T, but I want to do a review of the letter M. Can you say ma ma monkey while swinging your arms? Ma ma monkey. So what, what does the M make? What sound does the M make? Mmm. Mm. Yeah. All right. Today we'll learn what letter T looks like and sounds like. After my daughter's reading lesson, I started cross-listing the five listings that I posted earlier. Time to put this little girl down for bed. Good night, sweetie. Like I'm moving more to the middle. Oh, there we go. I love you. Good night. She might cry for a little bit, but she's really tired. So I think she's gonna go right to sleep. Okay, I am headed downstairs now. I finished cross-listing. Both my daughters are in bed. My husband put my older daughter to bed. And now I'm gonna record a little short for my YouTube channel about a few style-based pickups that I picked up yesterday, two days ago. Yeah, I think it was yesterday. I got some really amazing, beautiful style-based pickups. And so I decided to make a short video about that. Let me show you this, this disaster of a room. I mean, it is like organized in my mind, but not really. So we have a few packages that I need to label and put into boxes. We have a trash bag. We have those Banana Republic jeans that I'm debating about keeping or um, selling. I have not tried them on yet, but they're like two of the exact same pair. They're just different shades and they're vintage Banana Republic. And then I have my shoes stuffed in there. And then I have a few coats and then I have a few bins, printers back there, box light. Over there is the mannequin. And then we have a few more boxes and that, those two things that need to be washed. And I work in this little workspace. I'm gonna record this haul video now for my YouTube channel. All right, guys, I thought since I didn't record myself going through and into the Goodwill outlet that I would go through my haul from today. I will also include a few things I bought yesterday at a normal thrift store because they're just too cool not to share. I will start off with the things I got yesterday. This is for myself. It is literally the prettiest top I have ever seen. Yellow is my favorite color and it has this lace trim right here the brand is christopher and banks it's a petite medium i don't know i really don't know where the the eye of the camera is i couldn't pass this up i just think it's so beautiful bought it for four dollars which seems kind of hefty for a simple top but i could not say no to that next we have this which is from the brand katherine's and I actually have two Catherine's tops listed. Neither of them have sold. One is a 3X and one is a 1X, but I decided to get this anyway because it is a size 3X and it is such a beautiful kind of boho skirt. It's really flowy. It is a little shorter in length, but I knew that someone would find this and love it. I paid $6 for that. I was going through and deciding which one. Next, I got these, which are a pair of 511 plus. They have a plus sign. They look like this. This is a great reselling brand. I didn't know that this brand sold women's pants. These are a pair of women's stripe pants, regular fit, size 10. They are new with tags. They are thick and quality. I paid $8 for them. I'm sure how much I'll be able to get for them. I know that 511 tactical pants are good. They are a nice expensive brand. I mean, you can just feel it in the quality of the pants. All right, next is something I got for two reasons. I mean, it is from the brand Lane Bryant, which I don't know, can do well in a few items plus size. This is a size 18 to 20. It's 100% polyester. I paid $6. I think all the skirts I got in this thrift trip were $6. This reminded me of fairy core all the way. It is so beautiful, kind of midi to actually, no, it's a maxi length 
so beautiful, has those kind of pastel, but also kind of groovy 70 colors. I know that someone will love this skirt. I would wear a skirt like this if it was in my size. Next, we have the pair of jeans from the brand We The Free. I actually do really well selling free people jeans I or free people pants. I don't always sell them for a ton, but they do sell quickly. So if you can get them for cheap enough, this is a smaller size, size 26, which I believe is like a size four. These are a pretty cool style. They have a really cool distressed pattern and they're more of a straight leg. So you can pass those up for $5. I mean, that is an amazing price point for a pair of jeans at Goodwill. Women's pants are like $7.99. That's why I don't go to Goodwill anymore. This is the second to last item from that first store I went to yesterday. This is the brand Azucar, Azucar. And it caught me off guard because first of all, the color, I mean, it's a really pretty pink color, but then I looked on the material makeup, it's 100% linen and it has this lacy detail, it's maxi length, and this screams fairy core. It is the epitome of fairy core. I mean, this is so beautiful. It actually is my size, but I will resell it nonetheless. I just, this, this skirt is so beautiful. Couldn't find really anything about that brand on Google, but maybe I'll do a little bit more research. Okay, this is the last piece. And literally, this is the coolest thing I have ever found to resell. No joke, no cap, as the kids say. This is from the brand Forenza, which is a vintage brand. It is a all denim button up jumpsuit with kind of a flare leg at the bottom, kind of a boot cut style. It has this pattern all through it of whitewash with the denim. This is the coolest thing I've ever seen in my entire life. I would wear it if it was my size. It looks a little bit too big though. The size tag has been cut out, so I'll have to do measurements. I paid $8 for this and I think I'm going to list it for like $55 just because of how unique it is and it is truly a one-of-a-kind piece. Okay, I think that's it. Yes, that is it. I'm going to jump into the things that I found from the Goodwill outlet today. I think I spent around an hour and a half at the Goodwill outlet today. Sometimes I spend more time at the Goodwill outlet. Today I had my sister with me and it was hot in there and I'd already had such a long day that I decided to go home. I did get a few note-worthy pieces. All right, so this is from the brand Seros. Now, I didn't really get it for the brand. It is a size 29. It is a really cool pant style though. It kind of has that crossover button and it is straight leg. Looks like someone rolled up the cuffs at the bottom. Has distressing. I think this is a really cool pair of pants. I'm a size 28, so I think these would be a little bit too big for me, but that was my excuse for buying them that if I decided it wasn't worth listing that I would uh, wear them myself, but looks like they're too big for that. That excuse was just like so buy them. I'll probably list those for around $20. I mean, I think they're really cute. They caught my eye at the Google outlet. Next, we have a pair of pants that I actually used the same excuse with as those Saros pants. I hope I'm saying that correctly, Caros. This is from the band PacSun. I have sold one pair of PacSun pants before and I got these. They're a size small, slim, really cool kind of like corduroy patchwork. I mean, these are a really cool pair of pants. I think that I'm gonna be listing these. I usually don't pick up PacSun. I use the excuse though, like I said, that if I decided they weren't worth reselling that I would keep them for myself. I do think I'm gonna list these though. I think that they could sell for around $25 just because they're so cool. Next we have a shirt from Abercrombie and Fitch. This is just a beautiful little peasant top. It's pink, long sleeve, this colorway, this peachy color, all the pinks look really terrible with my skin tone. This is a size medium. It's a really, really pretty. I don't even know how much this sold for originally, but I'm thinking I'll probably list it for like 20 to, or 15 to $20. We have a, this is a free people piece. And usually I don't pick up 
free people bottoms like this that are really short. This is a size six. Oh, so it's my size. Free People always has that little skinny tag. So it's really easy to spot in my opinion. This is just kind of a corduroy skirt, really cute mini skirt. Couldn't leave that behind. I thought that was so much fun. And then we have this. This is from the brand Cynthia Rowley. And the reason I decided to get it was it is 15% Angora rabbit hair, 15% wool, 33% nylon, and 35% polyester. The rabbit hair and the wool is what really hooked me. It is pretty thick. It has three-fourth sleeves, and it buttons up right in the middle with a snap button. Boop, just like that. It's not the right season for a piece like this, but that is okay because I'm willing to sit on it and... Fall is gonna come sooner than we think. Okay, this is a little pair of shoes I got for my daughter. She's kind of a size seven to eight in shoes. This is a pair of size eight, little Mary Janes, so cute. My three-year-old doesn't have a lot of shoes to wear. I just never think about going shoe shopping for her. So she has two pairs of sandals that fit her right now that are kind of beaten up. So she is in need of some shoes. This next piece is from the brand that we all know. Where did it go? Um, well, back here, we have Levi's. It's a pair of Levi's. It is the 5'11s. It's a 34 waist by 36 long. I was actually surprised that no one had snatched these up because this is a pretty easy list and basic sale that you know people look out for or search up when they go onto platforms like eBay and Poshmark. I happily snatched that up. I actually have one pair of corduroy Levi's. I don't know what number they are, if they're like 501, 511, or 505, but they're a really cool pair of corduroy Levi's jeans and I have them pressed for $25 and I'm actually really surprised that those have not sold yet. All right, we have another piece for my daughter. This is from the brand Cat and Jack, which is a kids Target brand. I never shop at Target. I mean, I don't even really shop at Walmart for my kids' clothes. I either get them online or at thrift stores. This is a size 3T. And I thought this would be so... Wait a minute, is there a spot? Oh, I can get that out. That's just like a little something something. But I thought this would be so cute for the winter with like a pair of tights. And even with those Mary Janes, that would be the cutest thing. Next, I didn't even really look up what this piece was. When there was a new rotation and I went through, I saw REI and I put it in my cart and then I didn't look through it until I was going through my items at the end. This is actually a woman's size four or else I might keep these. These are really cute. They're kind of a pair of utility cargo shorts. I mean, those are adorable. Those are so freaking cute, very in style. They have UPF 30 plus. So I am really stoked for that find. Actually, the first time that I have ever found REI before. I don't know why the bins provide all these brands I've never found before, and they're so much better than the regular Goodwills and thrift stores. I just, it doesn't make sense to me. I, it's probably just overstock that never got eyes on before the bins, and so that's why I can find good brands. This next piece is from the brand Maeve. Anthropology. love selling Maeve. It has sold for me twice now already the two things that I've ever picked up in Maeve. I just realized this is inside out. It's kind of an interesting piece. It has this very dramatic turtleneck and a ruffle collar. I had to get this. I wonder what the material makeup is actually. It feels interesting. Oh yeah, so it's polyester and viscose. It definitely has some stretch to it. Just kind of a comfy fall winter sweater for when the time comes. Oh yes, this was the third pair of pants. I guess there were three that I made the excuse that, okay, if I decide they're not worth reselling, I'll just keep them myself. But these are really cute and they kind of reminded me of the barrel jean style. I mean, just a little bit. They are more of a wide leg, but they do come in at the bottom. So I would say they are kind of that barrel style paper bag waist. What's the size? The size is size small. The brand is Hope Ave. I looked this up and I think it's like a boutique brand. These are really cute. So I might try them on actually. They, these are really cute. Next we have a tie from the brand Jose Bank. 
These ties, brand new, sell for around $50, and their resale value isn't great, and the sell-through rate isn't great. But the reason I got this one is because it's 100% silk, and it has the coolest pattern. It is red, and it is covered in white whales. I mean, isn't that so much fun? It's kind of a novelty print, so I think that will help it stand out amongst other ties. And if anything, it gives me something to list when I'm low on inventory or I just don't have a lot of time. It gives me a quick and easy list. This next thing is from the brand Urban Outfitters. This is a size US 6. Again, my size. They're just very high-waisted. Like the crotch is down here and definitely comes up to my belly button. thought those were cute. I was going to say that I paid $5.99 for them, but I got them from the Goodwill outlet. So that's not true. This next thing is a pair of Chacos, which I actually totally forgot about that they were in my car. And then I weighed my stuff and paid. And then as I was putting my stuff in my car, I was like, oh yeah, I forgot to decide if I wanted these or not. But they're a pair of green, I believe men's Chacos, but they could be women's. They are definitely a bigger size, wider foot. The bottoms don't have a lot of wear. They are in really good condition. The only imperfection really is this kind of like dent right here. There's a little foam cutout. So that will definitely decrease the value, but I'm still gonna list these for $25. They're the Choco Cloud in green. Oh yeah, we have this wallet from the brand Safekeeper. This is for me. It does need a few cuts of the strings, or I guess I could just pull them out like that. I lost my wallet a couple of weeks ago and I actually think it somehow ended up in the trash. I have looked everywhere for it and it is not stolen. No one has used my cards or anything. Luckily, I didn't have any cash in my wallet, but I have to get a new driver's license now and new insurance cards. So that's kind of annoying, but I really like the wallets that can fit into your back pocket. It's very convenient. You just whip it out. And I like that this one has a little slot for cash, which I don't always carry. I rarely carry cash, but it's there if I need it and it has a place for my ID and stuff. So I thought that was really cute plaid color. Next, this is so cool. Okay, this is from the brand J Jill, which is good to pick up in plus sizes. This is not a plus size, but this had a lot of good factors going for it. I actually have no idea what the material tag is. It is a, oh, 55% linen? I didn't know it was linen and 45% viscose. Is this a dress? Wait a minute, I think this is a dress. I thought it was like a cardigan, like a really long cardigan, but I'm looking now that this is a button up dress. This is gorgeous. I mean, that gray linen color. I was trying to find the second bag and I realized that I had buried it under the clothes of the first bag. I guess I'll just put it right in front of me. Actually, no. Then I'll hear a bunch of ruffles in the background. I have no idea what my depth perception is. I keep going in and out. <laughs> so hopefully that doesn't bug you guys. This is from the brand Talbots. It is definitely a older label vintage. This is 100% wool exterior. It is a size 14 petite. And I got it because it is in a bigger size, kind of a mid-size. It does have, actually, it doesn't have... Well, I guess it does have shoulder pads, but they're very like lightweight shoulder pads. I thought this would be perfect for a businesswoman, and I do like Talbots. This next piece is from the brand Texture and Thread Madewell. It is a collab. This is a crop top, and this is so cute, honestly. I would love it if it was full length. It is a size small. I just think this is so cute. And it kind of has that beachy towel material. So this would be so cute to wear over your swimsuit or for a vacation. This next piece is Banana Republic Italian Merino Yarn by Baruffa. Hmm, I'll have to look that up, see if that makes it more valuable. It's a size tall, large. I'm thinking it's a women's. Maybe it's a women's. I thought it was a men's originally, but it is a very thick, is it was merino wool? Yeah, merino yarn. Oh, interesting. It's a nice kind of dark green color. 
Banana Republic Merino wool pieces actually sell really well for me. Next is just a basic Adidas pair of men's track pants. I don't think I'll get more than 20 for them, but these are really cool. I like the colorway, the, I don't know if that's black or really dark navy, but then it has these bright blue stripes on the sides. They're really long. Didn't want to leave those behind. Next we have another Free People piece, actually. I found Free People the last time I went to the Google outlet, and then I found Free People again this trip. This is a size small right there skinny little tag again this is a really cool top it has cutouts in the front it's kind of like shaggy it reminds me of a shaggy knit it is oversized i mean this is very in style right now then we have i believe this to be another j jill piece yeah this is a j jill size 4x and j jill does very well in plus sizes i've never found a 4x before actually i've never found a 3x either this is just a pull over sweater super cute basic perfect for the fall and it is 65 percent cotton 35 percent polyester i really hate when sweaters like this are 100 percent acrylic because they just feel awful so i'm glad that's a nice material makeup i got this for my daughter she is in a phase where she only wears dresses this is my three-year-old I don't know what size this is. The brand is Fairy Dreams. And I thought this was so cute. She's gonna love wearing this. I showed it to her at the bins cause she was with me. And she said, can we get it? And I said, yeah, we can get this. This is so cute. A few loose flyaway threads, but how fun is that? I would have loved that as a little girl. And actually if this was in my size, that would make a perfect Halloween costume. Actually, she could be a fairy. For Halloween this year if she wanted to be. Next is my second REI piece from the Goodwill outlet. First time I ever found it today and I found two pieces. This is just a regular size large, I believe men's black shirt, so really basic. It'll sell quickly, I think. I think. Next we have something from Old Navy. Old Navy sells well for me. Not for a ton, but it sells well. This is a size extra large and definitely I only pick up Old Navy in extra large and up, and I have to get it for $5 or under. I just made a style trend video and I said that white dresses like this, kind of Mamma Mia Grecian style are very trendy. And this is so pretty. It has this lace detailing on the top and then it's white and blue stripes, a cinch waist, so coastal and beachy. I had to pick that up. I think I'll sell it for around 15 to $20 the last extra large Old Navy piece that I had sold fairly quickly for $15 and it was just a black jumpsuit. All right, I think this is the last clothing item before I end with the shoes. I usually never end with the shoes. So this is gonna be a little different. I have been waiting to find a J. Crew blazer that's in a size larger than the size two for quite a while now because I know that J. Crew blazers sell well and this was in the first bin I found right on top. It is a size six and the outside is 100% wool. It's kind of a brown blazer, but it has these cute ruffles all the way down and these pockets. I mean, this is adorable. Someone is going to love that. All right, I'll show you guys this too. Got this for my sister, sister-in-laws. I have two sister-in-laws. They love Squishmallows and this is a gorilla. Squishmallow. I now have three Squishmallows for them. So this is a pair of Keens. I didn't know they made shoes like this. They're these wedge shoes, really great condition. They, yeah, they were in really good condition, honestly. A little bit of wear. They're a really nice pair of Keen wedge little booties. Okay, last, last piece. Now, unfortunately, I realized once I got in the car that this had an imperfection, that this part's kind of coming undone right there. But this is the brand Crispy, C-R-I-S-P-I. -I. Brand new, I believe these shoes sell for over $400. They were heavy, so that's why at first when I noticed the imperfection, I was like, oh no. But honestly, a little bit of glue could fix that. You know, there is like some scuffing right there, like there's a little cut there. So they're not in perfect condition, but even if I sell these for $30, I can make my money back and a little bit of profit. These are made in Italy. Definitely keep your eyes out for 
Crispy. I'd never heard of this brand before, and I'm gonna keep my eye out now for Crispy with a I because that is amazing. That's it for the haul portion of this video, but isn't that such an amazing Goodwill outlet spins haul? I feel like this is gonna last me forever, but then I end up going through it really quickly and I find myself saying I need to go back to the Goodwill outlet. All right, so I just finished recording the Goodwill outlet bins haul. Now I'm going to print off the labels on my computer, find the packages that I need. This is in all my inventory. I have stuff in the garage too. And then I will go drop them off at USPS tonight. All right, you guys, this isn't the best lighting. My lips are super, super chapped. I have been down here working. I just got all my packages ready to be shipped. I made one, two, three, four, five, six sales today, or one of them was yesterday, but it was really late. So I'm counting it as a today sale. What's crazy is I made two sales on Depop today and they were really close to each other. Two people made me an offer and I accepted both of their offers. They were super reasonable. They were only like five to ten dollars off of what i was originally asking what's even crazier though is that they were both named alexandra we have one alexandra and another alexandra so at first i thought that maybe i had mis mixed up the labels or i was printing the same label twice but no they were both named alexandra i just think that's kind of cool and then i made three sales on poshmark and one sale on ebay which takes me to six this i feel like packaging up items takes a good amount of time. It takes a while to tape stuff down and I go through tape so quickly. This is what I use, but if you have any other recommendations for tape brands, I would love to know because I feel like I go through it so quickly and I mean, it's three to four dollars for that thing. It only lasts like a week. I feel like one, maybe one to two weeks. I am going to schedule a USPS pickup for my house tomorrow. If you don't know, you can order a USPS home pickup. I believe if you have a priority mail somewhere in your packages for a USPS grant advantage, I'm not 100% sure. Although I just got a message on Poshmark. Someone commented on this free people address. I just listed like later today and she said, I need this by Friday for a wedding. Could you ship it out tonight? And so I may actually go and drive to USPS tonight. It's only like seven minutes from where I live. So it'd be like 15 minutes round trip, which is worth it. And then I could just drop off all these packages and I wouldn't have to schedule a USPS pickup and then I wouldn't have to worry about it. I love making sales, but at the same time, when I make a sale, I feel like the stress to get it out. There is definitely give and takes in the reselling business. As you saw today, it's kind of chaos, right? I don't really have a plan for every day because I don't know, with kids, it's hard to plan. I make it work with my two daughters. It is a lot of hard work, but I love reselling. I will leave you guys now with the end of this video with the not very good lighting here, but the point of this video is to hear me talk, not to <laughs> look at me. I'll see you guys in the next video, hopefully. Bye.